Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a little series I created in Season 1, uh, very early in my YouTube uh, career, if you, can, if you can call it that. Um, it's called it Hitman FYI, which stands for For Your Information. And during these videos, I would tell you uh, about the rules and uh, tricks and tips that you can do throughout uh, the, 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 the game. You know, all the little stuff like uh, poison kills that uh, don't affect your silent assassin rating. Um, accident kills that don't affect your silent assassin rating. Uh, leg shots and all a bunch of sort of tricks and tips and, and ways you can help you out uh, in the game. For Hitman 2, uh, I'm not sure whether to bring it back full time with the series because I'm not, I'm not fully aware of all the tricks yet. But um, there is a few findings that I found in the past 24 hours. Um, I, I've stumbled across a Reddit post in telling you about in regards to the spotting mechanics. Now there is some a lot of changes in comparison to Season 1 to Hitman 2. And uh, yeah, I wanted to do some a bit of my own testing before uh, before I came to any conclusions. But uh, before we go, actually get into it, I'm actually showing you the clip right now to what I'm about to do. But before we get into all this stuff, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And um, yeah, if I do any future videos, the link will be in the description of the full playlist of the FYI videos. But uh, for this one, I'm going to show you straight away, we are in a trespassing area. And I'm basically going to get myself spotted on purpose in a trespassing area. And I'll show you exactly what's going to happen. First of all, I'm going to take out the target. So I'm going to use the trigger remote, fire remote trigger to get upstairs. See, I don't understand this. The, the frisks are going there. They just let me up without actually asking to get frisked. I'm not completely sure what the, what triggers that. I don't know. Like even even at the start of this clip, yeah, as you can see downstairs, I didn't have to show my invitation twice. This is professional mode I'm on right now. It's not on master mode or anything. But I encountered the same thing on master mode as well. I don't know what triggers that, but sometimes the guards just let you pass without even getting frisked. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the briefcase. I don't know exactly. But uh, that's another thing I need to briefly look into. I don't know what that's all about. So obviously we're going to do the basic kill of taking out Dahlia and uh, no Novikov. If you've seen my Silent Assassin's Suit only video on master mode, that's exactly how I took them out yesterday. I basically just want to get these kills out of the way first before I did it jumped into the basic sort of testing. So that's what I'm going to go about to do. So um, in, in during those findings, what I've uh, found in the Reddit post, which I'll leave a link to in the description, um, it was basically suggesting that if you are in a trespassing zone and you do get spotted by uh, a guard, usually that would mean that you've compromised your Silent Assassin rating and that's it. You've lost your Silent Assassin rating because it will technically class it as spotted. Now, I'm going to show you an example right here. This guard, you know, we've taken out both targets right now. We're unspotted at this point. And look, we're in a trespassing zone, and we've been found trespassing by two guards. Now, the other, the other guard is going to come out of the room, and he's going to tell you to, hey, follow me, and all that kind of stuff. And he leads you to an area where it's safe to do so. Now, technically, we can run away at this point because we're out of the trespassing zone. But uh, if you follow him and do it safely, then he won't have any problems with him being hunted or anything like that. Basically, doing this doesn't lose you a silent assassin rating anymore, is what I've found. And um, I'm not sure about this change. I don't know why they've changed it like this, but uh, I suppose it's better. I mean, all they had to do, in my opinion, when I did the last elusive target, um, I did stumble upon it in a trespassing area, not knowing that it was a trespassing area. And I said in, during the live stream, well, that's my silent assassin gone. So I had to restart and, tr and try it again. Now all they had to, all they have to do really is basically, if you use instinct, just highlight the area which is trespassing in a different color or something, or alternatively, just show it on the minimap that in, in red or something, or the red zones or where the trespassing areas are. It, they did that in the alpha of season one. I'm not sure why they removed it. Or alternatively, even put it on the map itself to show the trespassing areas in like a red zone kind of thing, and it would solve the problem of not knowing or where the trespassing zones are. You see, it was it got really annoying to stumble across a trespassing zone which you didn't know. It was a genuine mistake, and you've lost your silent assassin rating, especially on a thing like a loser targets. It's a big thing. I mean, a lot of people don't even try, don't even attempt to restart. They just do it in one run. But as I've showed you there, a couple of examples of me stumbling into a trespassing zone, getting escorted out, and it's, it's no issue. The final example I'm going to show you right here is I'm just running through these areas. I'm in a complete trespassing zone. And this final bit here is a big shocker to me. I ran straight through the kitchen and got spotted by everybody. What's this? Look at this. It's 
but found trespassing spotted by all the chefs there. I exited the mission, and lo and behold, I got a sign at Assassin Rayton. And that's that's just basically how the mechanics works these days. Unless it's unless you're hunted or compromised, it seems to me you don't lose your sign at Assassin Rating anymore. And I'm not sure if it's a bug or it's an unintended mechanic or a, a feature, as they like, they like to call it. I don't know. But it seems to me at this, at this point in time that if you are found trespassing in a trespassing area, you don't actually lose your assault assassin anymore. Now, there is probably specific rules in regards to that. It's probably not definitive either. If a guard comes up to you and starts running after you, I think if you break a line of sight as fast as you can, then he would, they would, they'll just let it go. Also, if you are in a disguise, if you are in a disguise, it um, and an enforcer spots you through your disguise, and he says, "Hey, who are you? I don't recognise you." And then run away. If you run away or hide, the uh, he, he will eventually ignore it, and then you still won't lose your sight assassin rating. That's another thing as well, which is a, quite a big thing. So if you are spotted by an enforcer, if you run away or break the line of sight and hide, then you won't lose your sight assassin rating either. There was also a clip that was attached in that Reddit post. You can check that out as well. Like I said, if you look at the link in the description of the Reddit post, I'll leave it there in the description. Um, of, you'll see exactly what I mean. Another thing I wanted to test, which was introduced with the last patch, was uh, the target. If if the target spots you now, you no longer you will no longer lose your sight assassin rating either. That's another thing I wanted to test. And I did do some testing on Miami, and I, th I thought I recorded it, but it did come, obviously it didn't save. So this clip is unrelated to what I'm talking about, but um, I wanted to show something on the screen while I was talking. So uh, if the if the target does spot you. He, you will still get your sign assassin rating. However, there's a few exceptions. If he calls out, calls to a guard and goes to a guard and, and tells them about it, then it, you know what, well, you are going to lose your sign assassin rating. If he sees you, this is another thing that I really wanted to test as well. I thought if he, if you can literally point a gun in his face and watch him, um, you know, quiver and squirm and plead for his life, then and you kill him. Therefore, he's, he's, he's no longer a witness, he's dead, so therefore that's why it, it voids the, um, you know, it doesn't affect your sight assassin rating. However, if he spots a body, or if he spots you committing a crime, it will remove your sight assassin rating, even if you do kill him or not. I don't understand um, that, I don't, really, I don't really get that. There's some people on Reddit saying that that's simply not the case, that they, if you do see a body, then it doesn't negate your shoot score and you still get sight assassin rating. That is, from my testing, that isn't the case. If the if the target sees you commit a crime or sees a body, and you still and you kill him, you, you will lose your sign assassin rating. So the only way you can keep it is if he doesn't see any other illegal activity that you've done. So you, if as long as he's the only person in the room and he's, and he's, he spotted you, it doesn't matter. You'll still get your sign assassin rating. However, if he's seen you uh, shoot somebody if he's seen you uh, kill someone or he's seen a body or seen you choke someone out then you will lose your sign assassin rating again why introduce this system if they don't go the whole way i, I don't really understand that if the whole going behind the whole premise of uh, you know a witness a, a dead witness can't talk then surely you should go the whole way and and do that i mean i tested it on miami for robert knox i uh, distracted him with a laptop uh, whether a satellite dishes and I choked out his guard right in front of him, and so he spotted the whole thing. And by the time I killed Robert Knox and exited the mission, I got a four-star rating, and it says uh, the body found bonus is at zero. So it negated me for the score of body found. So he saw the body at the end and negated the score. Now, I'm not sure if it was the illegal activity that negates the score either, because it says no spotted. I still got the no spotted bonus. So I'm guessing it's just the bodies that are being found. If the if the body's being found, then it will remove your sign assassin rating. It kind of it's kind of uh, annoying how that works, but I'm I'm guessing that's just how it works for now. Hopefully, in the future patches or something like that, they do change that. If they do change that in the future patch, and uh, I'm aware of it, then I will be sure to update you guys on the new system. But as far as I I, I can tell at the moment, it's not really uh, worth the risk, in my opinion, of actually just you know trying to aim a gun at his face and watch him quiver and squirm and stuff like that just you may as well just you know just kill him any way you want to because um it does it doesn't really matter <laughs> it doesn't really matter what, what does it matter if they spot you anyway if it, if they don't go the whole way and you know remove your illegal crimes and and bodies being found and that and targets and that what's the point
what's the what's the point? But um, as far as as far as my findings and testing has got has gone, yeah, you can get spotted in trespassing areas now by NPCs and guards, and they will lead you out of the area, and you won't lose your sight and assassin rating. Uh, if enforcers see through your disguise, and you run away, and you can get away, and you can hide, then you won't lose your sign assassin rating either. So that's big. That's big, big changes there, and stuff that was wasn't really made aware in the community for instance the past couple of days or so. Uh, one of my person in my uh, com subs actually commented in my comment section about it as well, and I want to look into it myself. And I looked it up, and it was on Reddit, and then someone made a Reddit post about it and kindly attached some videos to it as well. So again, I do advise you to check out that. Uh, that reddit post and um, read all the details of all the people that have commented and replied as well there are some basic ideas and uh, some examples too so for that I've rambled on and off now hopefully you, you've probably you, hopefully you've understood what I've said but probably you haven't you probably think I've just talked nonsense and it's very hard to understand what I'm saying but uh, I don't go by a script I just try and talk what I've got in my head so um, hopefully you followed me anyway if it's a really bad video I'm sorry but I'll try my best to explain as best as I can but uh, for now that's going to do it for this video so uh, hopefully you've learned something new and hopefully you enjoy this new system and uh, yeah if you want to know any more if future FYI videos let me know what, of anything new that's in the game that I haven't that I don't know yet that I could be put out in a video maybe some new mechanics or something like that that I could be talking about in future videos let me know give me some ideas in the comments and I might bring this series back full time until then, um, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.